you guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a little fun video it was inspired by Sophia Corso if you don't know who she is she's a youtuber I love her videos I love her style so this is how to make your ex regret cheating on you sure a lot of us have been there before honestly fuck them right fuck them fuck the exes they suck they suck basically I'm just gonna be like chatting with you guys about some random things while I get ready and do my makeup. Let's make this face pretty because right now it's not so pretty, honestly. Sorry if the camera shakes, my desk is a little shaky. Yeah, just bear with me on that. I already moisturized my skin and everything and prepped it. For my makeup, Um, I don't have my headband that I always use in my basket. Actually, yeah, I do. It's right here. Silly little me. Oh my God, what a goof I am. My skin, honestly, is awful. Like, it's so red and my pores are so bad. Like, I wish I had better skin. I need to go wet this bad boy. What are you doing? If you guys couldn't tell, I did change my room up a little bit. I always change my room up because I always need change in my life. That's just the way I am. I kind of wanted more of like a simpler look. I don't know. I want to get a tapestry from Urban Outfitters um, and put it behind my bed. And I took my lights down because half of them were burnt out. So I was just like, nope, gotta get a new set. Also, I did have my black nose ring in, but it got stuck. Like I had it in for so long and I never Never, like switched it or moved it around in my nose and so it got stuck in my nose so I had to cut it out with wire cutters and I didn't have any other nose rings because I lost them all so I had to basically re-pierce my nose on my own and I did that by shoving an earring through my nose don't do don't this do at this home yeah basically I didn't want to pay a huge amount of money to re-pierce it and it was like already halfway pierced you know like part of it just grew closed so I just did it by shoving an earring through eventually it went numb because it hurt so bad and I've done I was doing it for so long so I had an earring chilling in my nose all night last night so I had to go to town this morning to get a new nose ring before I did this video and yeah I just got a little stud to put in it I eventually want to put a hoop in it and make this a hoop but I just have to order one online because where I live they like don't have any simple hoops to put in your septum Lately, I've been taking a lot of baths. Not good for my skin, but I just love, like, they just, like, relax me. In the mornings, it calms me, and I'll, like, practice my breathing because I have really bad anxiety. So I'll sit in the bathtub and just breathe for a little while and talk to myself, you know, and pray and everything. I know it sounds, like, weird, I know, but it really helps me a lot in the mornings, and, like, it helps me to start my day. And I've gotten my sleep schedule back on track and I'm starting to get myself together a little bit more as you guys know like that last update video that I posted about my life like going through a separation of someone yeah ever since then I've just really lost myself but I'm starting to find myself more and I'm starting to get better and make myself happy and love myself you know hence to why this video is called how to make your ex regret cheating on you I don't want to give out too much of this relationship that I was in but I've always been so hesitant about sharing this um this part of my life and this part of my relationship but I figured well I owe it to you guys like I want to open up more to you and let you guys know more about my life and what I go through and stuff and like I'm not saying any names so I figured why does it matter and I haven't really posted about this guy anywhere but yeah ever since July I've basically been like off and on with this guy I've been like played by him um um, mistreated kind of like used in a way and in a way like manipulated he would always just play these games with me and like bribe me into coming over and stuff and he would like come back whenever he wanted to and basically just mess with my head and really just emotionally 
and mentally mess me up and it's really hard like I don't know if you guys have ever been through something like that but it's really hard especially when you care about someone so much you're just so like blindsided I guess he's basically come back into my life so many times and really like manipulated me into thinking that he wanted me um, and he needed me in his life and he's sorry for messing up in the past and stuff but recently he came back and wanted to like I, I had a talk to him for like over a month and recently he like came back and he's been wanting to hang out with me for like the past three weeks and I've just been like no you know what like I'm done with this like I'm done being mistreated and treated so poorly and I need to know what I deserve like I haven't been happy and this is partly why because like I focus my happiness so much on this guy and so basically I've just been like no I'm done with this I'm done with your lies like nothing's gonna change ever like you always say that but he wouldn't give up for like three weeks and so like that's what made me think like what if it is real this time like what if he is trying to change for me hey, no you're wrong jewel he's not anyway he like called me at like four in the morning the other day and was just like please like i want you to come here i want to talk to you um you can wear my clothes all this stuff like everything but anyway yeah i was like yo like it's four o'clock in the morning maybe Maybe I'll hang out with you tomorrow, okay? And he would not give it up. He nope would not give it up would not give it up anyway eventually it's like seven o'clock in the morning finally got him off the phone and was like yo like i'm done like i'm sorry but i said no and that's just the way it is like you're just gonna have to deal with that so anyway he like texted me at like noon the next day and was like so like will you come over after i'm done doing what i have to do today and i was like yeah i will like i'll come over like just let me know what time that is and comes to find out as he was texting me he had another girl there what like are you you freaking kidding me like boy no way no and so I was flaming I was heated I was like this is exactly why I didn't want to do this anymore because you always do shit like this like I'm done with this I'm done with these games and yeah that was that and he also tries hitting at my friends too like um are you kidding me no that's not okay sorry I did not want to give out too much information about that relationship and I'm not gonna name names or anything but that's that's basically what I've been kind of going through the past like eight months because I met this guy in July. Little did I know when I first met him. Gotta blend this down the neck. Also this pimple is still here. I don't know if you guys saw that in my last video. It's like gone but it's there's still like a mark there you know. I like scab and stuff very easily. I also wanted to kind of update you guys about college and stuff like that. Like, obviously, I just graduated high school last year. Anyway, so I decided to kind of take a gap year just to kind of figure out what I really want to do with my life and just, like, work, you know, do YouTube and just stuff like that. But life has been really hard, so I haven't really been able to focus on that that much, which really sucks. But anyway, I'm actually currently not working. I kind of, like, took some time off for myself because of my mental health basically I was very emotionally like unstable I just was not okay and I really I don't even know how to explain it I just really was not okay I'm still not like the best but my anxiety was outrageous like I just I don't even want to go into detail about that because it's, it's a soft subject for me but I'm currently looking for a new job right now I did work at Starbucks but I quit there again just to take some time on my own but yeah I'm currently looking for a new job trying to get myself back on track and then I'm also looking at schools to go for fashion design I don't really know yet what I want to do don't take this like this is what I'm gonna do with my life like I just right now I'm trying to figure myself out I'm trying to figure out what I want to do you know like life's just kind of hectic right now I'm 19 I'm young I don't have my shit together obviously that's just how it is when you're my age you know like you don't always have to have your shit together you guys just always know that where you are now is where you are supposed to be I always try and tell myself that take your time like it's okay life is crazy but it does come to a point where it's like you need to pick yourself up like you need to get moving you know like you need to take care of yourself figure out what you want to do what you need in your life stuff like that 
I just kind of like wanted to do this video too just to like kind of rant for a while to you guys I don't know the things that I say I don't know I need to be more confident in myself and like what I say and everything because I'm just not confident in myself I never am every time I say something I'm like oh, I don't know like I just get like so insecure about it I don't know I'm like so shaky right now because I've had so much coffee that's why I'm like so talkative probably I'm like in such a good mood right now for the look today I want to do more of like a brownish look like a warmer color look you know I need to find my brushes I am no professional makeup artist it's wrong I'm sorry but yeah I'm going in with my morphe 35r palette um I love these colors like they're such neutral colors and warm I always go for warmer looks because I have like darker hair and dark eyes and stuff this is so hard to do when I'm so shaky I'm honestly kind of nervous to post this video. I feel like I never really open up very much about my life. I always worry what other people will think about me. I need to stop with that. I honestly need to stop with that. I miss my eyelash extensions. I'm pretty sure I said this in like my last makeup video, but I really miss my eyelash extensions. They were so handy and I feel like I never had to, like if I didn't have makeup on, I feel like I still looked somewhat decent, you know? I'm going with like a lighter brown and put this in the crease. I'm honestly just winging this look. Every day I just wing it. I just kind of randomly throw colors together and call it good. Okay, this is a little bit messy, but it's whatever. Now I'm gonna go in with like a darker color. Um, kinda wanna use like this maroonish color. Okay, not very good. After this, I'm probably gonna take another bath. Lately, I've been taking like freaking three baths a day. They're just so relaxing and calming. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I love baths so much. Like I said earlier in the morning, like I'll always hop in the bath when I wake up. It's a good way to start my morning and I like won't necessarily try to be on my phone so much in the morning. I read a book. I've been getting into like reading more lately. I'm trying to find new things and hobbies for myself. So yeah, usually in the mornings when I take baths, I'll usually read a book and then I'll get on my phone for a little bit but I try to like not look at my phone first thing in the morning because it's not good for you I feel like this isn't very even but it's fine it's whatever you know what it, it's gonna have to freaking do okay now we need to do a little bit of winged eyeliner um actually no I want to add a little bit of shimmer to this look I'm gonna go with like this pinkish rose gold little shimmery color so with the title of this video girl like if he cheats on you no 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 more no more one time is enough don't give another chance one is enough after that you just got to flex be like yo like i'm better than that other chick that you were cheating on me with um so yeah this is how to look bomb af if he cheats on you just go out with your girls have fun have a good time don't worry about him he's nothing if he cheats he's nothing like let it go let him go he needs to go bye bye because you do not deserve that he should be there for you and only for you don't put up with stuff like that I was gonna make this thing into like a little Q&A, but I figured I would just talk to you guys instead and I just make a different video doing a Q&A. This eyeshadow look is honestly so messy. Okay, done with this palette. I love this palette so much, you guys. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. I love sparkly stuff, so this stuff is the best thing ever. It's always important to apply shimmer and like highlight to your inner corners because it makes you look more awake. It makes your eyes like look brighter and more open. My eyeshadow's a little messy but it's okay. Okay, I need to do my eyeliner. I need to do this off camera so I will be right back. Okay, so got the eyeliner done. I need to curl my lashes. I have this red spot where my nose piercing is because it's a little sore. It basically just got re-pierced, so. And I don't really want to get makeup around it. I don't want it to get infected, you know? My all-time favorite drugstore mascara is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Um, This one's like dried out. I need to get more mascara, but it's still really good. Oh my God, my cat is driving me nuts. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to film in here, bro. Yeah, I am. The reason why I don't let him into my room is because he'll want in and then he'll want out. Okay, I let him in. He's gonna want out pretty soon, which is kind of annoying. Maybe he'll just, oh, 
I mean, it's just gonna go lay down, okay? Once I get a job and I start making more money, I want to travel a lot more because that's just me. Like, I'm a travel-y, adventurous person. I love to travel and go on new adventures. I don't know if you guys know who Indie Blue is. I freaking love her. I love her travel videos. I want to make travel videos like that. Um, I've always been into that kind of videography stuff, but I've never really like I don't go to like cool enough places to film stuff like that you know and I don't like do enough cool things to film stuff like that yeah I'm really into like the stuff that she does like videography and editing and stuff like that I love editing my videos obviously I love filming videos too but I just I really enjoy editing a lot and have you guys seen her new little baby seven? Oh, oh my god, like congrats to them. Like that's so, wow, I don't know. But I feel like that baby is gonna be a legend for some reason. I don't know why, I can just see it happening. Cause of like the story that they have behind his name and stuff, like it's just nuts. Do you guys see my cat back there? Charlie, what are you doing? He's a bangle, so he's like it's crazy. Like he's, he's a smart cat too, like he's super smart. He's not like any other normal cat. I don't know how to explain. Him. So lately I've been filling in my eyebrows with eyeshadow. I ran out of like my eyebrow pencil and I just haven't bought any more lately. So I've just been using eyeshadow and I mean it works for me. It works pretty good. I am so ready for summer, you guys. Like, I get such bad seasonal depression, and I'm just ready for warm weather, going on so many adventures with my friends, doing crazy things, long nights, stuff like that. Because last summer, I feel like I didn't really get the chance to. I mean, like, I feel like I had my summer taken away from me, kind of. I even spent the whole four week of the 4th of July with that one guy, and I didn't get to spend any of it with my friends. Like, it sucked. Like I was just cooped up inside all day with him. It's again my camera is being stupid and I don't know why See like eyeshadow works really good on your eyebrows. I don't I mean I don't know if anyone else does this I know some of my friends do it, but like I don't know if beauty gurus ever do it But I mean it works. You guys should try it now. I'm going to take this out I don't know why I've had that in the whole time. I'm already done with my face makeup But now I'm going to set them with my NYX control freak This stuff works so good and it keeps my eyebrows in place like all all day long now I need to add some highlight and then we should be finished I don't have like a specific highlighter palette I just use the eyeshadows and it works just just as well this is the finished look girl your ex is gonna be crying this wasn't really a tutorial but mm -hmm. For today's video. I hope you liked it. I didn't put any lipstick on because the lipstick that I always wear is downstairs and I didn't really feel like going to get it. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna put on some Vaseline and call it good. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big huge thumbs up as always. Subscribe down below if you aren't subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. I love you.